So two months ago, I made my very first dedicated video to dropshipping here on YouTube. And in there, I shared my story on how I went from being a broke college student to now running a multiple seven figure business. And I also shared the seven key steps in getting started with dropshipping going into the year of 2024. So this video here now did pretty well. It's got over 200,000 views and I've gotten hundreds of DMs and emails asking for mentorship advice and more. So to follow up on the success from that video, I wanted to follow up up with a second version here, but go even more in depth on questions that I didn't fully answer in my last tutorial. So here's a way that this video will be structured. First, I'm going to explain to you what dropshipping is in under 60 seconds, just in case any of you need a recap. I'm also going to give you a step-by-step -step checklist in getting started today. And I'm also going to be sharing with you two key truths on what I believe are the biggest needle movers to run a successful store going into the new year. So to kick this video off, this is how dropshipping works in 60 seconds. Say we have Billy who realized he has a pretty special product that everyone wants, and he's always been a bit entrepreneurial, so he decides, why don't I sell this? Billy found the manufacturer for the product, and by chance was named Manny. He tells Manny the manufacturer this, hey, how about instead of me buying bulk inventory from you, why don't I just pay for you to ship one of your products direct to a customer instead? So Manny said, okay, well, if you wanna do that, it's gonna cost me $5 for the product and for me to ship it over to your customer. Billy then goes online, he puts together a website and lists the same product on his own site for about 10 bucks. Billy happens to get his first customer and that first customer pays him the $10. He gives the $5 to Manny. He keeps the $5. Billy just started his own dropshipping business. Now dropshipping in itself is a very simple business model. This reminds me of a story. I was getting some good old Korean barbecue with my intern and my COO to celebrate the intern's last day. Afterwards, we walked two steps over to the smoothie shop and I was approached by a guy who actually told me that he saw my dropshipping video and after he wanted to learn more. What I didn't mention though just now was that this guy was actually a kid and he was a middle school kid on his bicycle and I thought it was fascinating because back then when I was in middle school no I didn't know about drop shipping I was I don't even know what I, I was playing Pokemon still at that time here's what was fascinating this kid actually told me that everyone pretty much even in his grade knew about drop shipping but a lot of them were concerned that drop shipping was a scam it's oversaturated it's not profitable and it's too hard. I realized at this point, these are the same exact things that I heard about five years ago when I made my first $100,000 getting into the space. So in this video here, more specifically, I'm just gonna share with you the actual truth from someone who's done it, documented their journey online along the way. And I'm also gonna share with you the proper and most efficient way to get started so you don't waste your time. So what's different from my success five years ago to even one of my business partners who did zero to seven figures in six Six months and sold his store for a quarter million dollars. It's real easy. First, you need to choose a product. Gone are the days where you can set up a general store and make $100,000 from one Instagram feed shout out post. Gone are also the days where you pick a generic niche like fitness, fashion, beauty, and think you'll automatically start getting sales too. I mentioned this earlier, and this is a truth that I don't want to just gloss over, but you are now going to be competing with some of the biggest e-commerce brands with even more experience now today. So the most important first step of action is really doing the right product research to find the right winning product. Look, you could have the best ad creatives in the world. You could also have the hungriest audience in the world with a bunch of billionaires that have infinite money. But if you do not have the right product, you're going to have a very difficult time getting sales. So how do we find the right winning product? Well, here are a few strategies. First of all, you can find trending products. The advantage between trending products are that people are fueled right now with getting it up and you combine that with the fact that right now at the time of filming this video, we are entering quarter four. You have some pretty high chances of getting wins. The great thing about trending products too is that they get boosted significantly with the use of TikTok and some of these other social medias through short form content, which didn't exist even just two years back. So the process of finding trending products is rather simple. Go on Google Trends and look up niches or keywords that are gaining in popularity. Utilize TikTok, Facebook, or even Instagram Reels to discover trending products from other top pages or see what the algorithm pushes to you. Now, this here is a classic example. This is what people did back five years ago, but you would go on the Amazon movers and shakers page or even just eBay bestsellers and you can get some ideas there. I realize that Amazon right now is very competitive. This is why Amazon FBA, I'd say is still rather difficult and it's a lot easier getting into the dropshipping space. This is also because with Amazon FBA, you're competing against people direct from China who own these manufacturing plants. So 
So it's oftentimes a lot harder for you to get priced in when they can just go direct to the consumer. The advantage of drop shipping is that you still act as a marketer. And at the end of the day, if you're able to source good product ideas, and another one here is gonna be even going on Kickstarter. That's gonna generate a lot of great things. You're gonna be able to see trending items from there. And the next process from here is gonna just be to write down your 10 favorite products. You have an idea on the things that you think could sell well during this time. And look, sometimes items are seasonal. Sometimes they work very well in the winter and they do terribly in the summer and vice versa. This is why testing is so important and you have to lose and spend money in the beginning before you can actually start making money back. Now, going back into my steps, the second thing you want to do is to do proper competitor research. Once you got an idea on what product you want to sell, you need to see the competition and get an idea of how the ad creatives are doing. Market research here is an essential part of the process, and it can also save you a lot of money. This is because you can validate your ideas. You can see if there's a gap within the market and to see whether the competition is worth you getting in or not. That actually, one, shows you there is a market. There is less risk if someone is actively running ads because it usually means they're profitable. And not only that, if you're able to then find these ads and realize, wow, that one is actually terrible. And I know I can personally do a better job. Then that gives you an advantage for you to break through into the market. Now, based on the top 10 results on Google and or on just any other search engine, you're going to have a better indication on competition. The way I systemize all this is just find the website, then find their social media accounts, then see if they're running anything on TikTok. Then I check to see if they're running on Instagram or on Facebook through the meta ads library. So here's what to look for. Are they running ads right now? Well, chances are it's a winning product. Can you make the ads better than what they have? What is the item price listed on their website? Can you make a better landing page funnel? Can you see if they have upsells or cross sell ideas that they're not implementing that you have? If you start checking these things off and you're like, wow, they're doing a terrible job and I know I can do a better one. You can then even take it a step further and ask yourself, wait, do I have a better supplier that makes better quality items that could ship it for a shorter period of time. When it comes to business, look, this is a world where it's all about competition. And if you've ever played a sport, as an example, I grew up playing football, then I grew up playing rugby for the last 10 years. I am very competitive. And these are one of the aspects of business that I love. If you love this stuff too, or just beating out other competition, you're gonna love this space. Now, the very next thing that you'd wanna do here is to find a supplier. You can still find most suppliers on AliExpress, and you can actually set it to finding AliExpress suppliers that ship out of US warehouses. It turns out a lot of people from China realize that Americans do not like waiting a long period of time for their items. And what a lot of them are doing is buying up these giant warehouses in the middle of nowhere states like Kentucky, buy up cheap real estate, fill it up with their products, and then from there, use AliExpress as their website to connect their dropshipper with these trading companies. So find your suppliers. It'd be ideal to find at least five to six suppliers and then to message them because chances are, I'd say eight out of 10 might actually reach back out to you. With these suppliers, the next thing I would do is ask them this step-by-step -step question. One, can you dropship an item to the customer? Do you have any US warehouses? And can you do any custom branding? If you're working with a really good supplier, they're gonna go out their way for you in providing you all these details and even giving you the possibility of doing eventually your own custom branding. Keep in mind, it's a win-win situation where you as the business owner are able to bring them sales. The manufacturer usually can't live without the marketer and vice versa. The marketer can't live without the manufacturer. So from there, fourth step, build your own store, find available domain names. Don't just use dot my Shopify. Gone are those days too. They used to work like five years ago. I think if you see that right now, you're probably not gonna be buying from that site. Do your best to build a good looking store that's clean, minimal, and focus on this one thing, landing page funnels. A lot of people wanna make their homepage look pretty, their about me page look great, their FAQ. None of that really matters. What moves the needle and drives sales is the actual product landing page. So instead of it just being a one product with one video, one review, you want to make it an experience where they scroll through it. Multiple testimonials, multiple highlights of the features, where it was featured on, how you could use it. Go in depth and paint the picture in your customer's head. Now to build your store, you have a lot of different options. Shopify is still 100% the way to go. And I have a link down below in the description if you want to get 
get started with a free trial. Shopify has a number of free theme pages, so it makes it pretty easy to build and navigate. And if little Brian Jung from five years ago was able to build out his own store, I know because I was not that smart back then that you guys will be able to figure it out. So if you have not done so already, check out the link for Shopify down below. Now say you build your store out, you did your product research, you've actually began even considered running some ads or you're doing organic content, but you get an order coming in. The next thing you want to do is to figure out a system where you can manage your inventory and place orders efficiently with a reliable app. Now, the one that I would highly recommend is Zendrop, who I had the honor of getting connected with on sponsoring this portion of the video. So if you didn't know, Zendrop is an all-in-one dropshipping fulfillment solution that was specifically designed to help resolve some of the biggest problems when it comes to dropshipping. So Zendrop gives you a catalog of a million different products to sell and integrate them into your own Shopify store very easily. What they also help you with is automatic dropshipping fulfillment so you make sure that your customer gets the item that they purchase. When I was running one of my first successful stores, I remember that I could find the item on some other stores like eBay and it was just a pain in the butt because I would have to place the order on eBay with the customer's information to fulfill that order. With Zendrop, they just make it super easy so you don't have to spend hours and hours doing fulfillment. And on top of that, one of my favorite features about this is their fast shipping with US fulfillment. So like I mentioned earlier, people do not want to get items where it takes four weeks for them to deliver. Zendrop has connections with US local businesses where you can get domestic customers their products within two to eight days. On top of that, if you decide to scale your store even further, they offer the customized branding, personalized thank you cards in each order, and they also give you the option of expanding your business if you want to go into the subscription box or bundle route. What I also love about all this is that you don't have to pay them $200,000, $500,000 a month to get started, but they also have a free subscription plan to get started with while you work up on building your revenue. So if you want to check them out, it's real easy. Link down below in the description. Sign up for your Shopify. Link together your Zendrop within the Shopify app store. Once you're set up, you can find products as well on Zendrop by clicking on find products on the left sidebar. You can search for your items in there and you can also sort by supplier location, category, suppliers, and even the price range. If you happen to scale your product sales to over 10 a day, Zendrop's team will actually reach out to you to help provide better pricing on those products. So as you scale, your product cost goes down from there. Now you wanna make sure that your product solves a problem or it has a huge wow factor. This is the most important aspect when it comes to drop shipping, and I'll talk a bit more about that later. So going into number five in this step-by-step -step process, the next thing you wanna do is focusing on marketing your business. This is because you could have the best product in the world, you could have the best funnel in the world, the best pricing in the world, the best manufacturer, but then if you don't know how to get word out that you have this amazing product, you're not gonna see sales. So this here is the home stretch of the whole drop shipping process. If you are able to now market your business effectively, you're gonna be able to start getting one sale a day, turn that to 10 sales a day. If you know how to market really well, that's when you can scale it up to 100 or even 1,000 orders. For this, there's two ways to go about it. You have organic and you have paid ads. So organic is always gonna take a bit longer, but you can reduce the risk of your own capital. This means it's usually very cheap or free in order to make free organic content surrounding a brand. The second one, if you wanna have accelerated growth that you can track, is when you run paid ads. A lot of people get scared about paid ads because you have to spend money in order to make money, but this is just the world of business. You know that term, that saying, it's like scared money, don't make no money. It really applies to this game. Now, there's always a 10% chance that the organic content you make slaps, you know, a random influencer posts your website or your Shopify store and you blow up. But I'll say those stories are very far in between. And most likely, if you wanna control your fate in being able to drive sales, it comes down to effectively running paid ads. So between paid ads, you have five of them. Facebook ads, something that I specialized in, TikTok ads, which right now is still very easy to get into. You have influencer marketing uh, through UGC content. You have Google ads, Pinterest ads. Pick whichever one you wanna specialize in. I think Google ads is probably gonna be the last on this list, but Meta, it's getting a bit expensive, but it still works. TikTok ads, I think is probably one of the most powerful ones right now. And Pinterest, it's always been slept on, it's still slept on. So if you have a good product that you think lines up well within the Pinterest space, 
consider doubling down on that. Now, learning ads is not this secret little thing that you can never figure out because all the information is available on YouTube. There are also books, PDFs, guides that I've seen completely for free. And if you don't know how to run TikTok ads, you can literally go on TikTok's website and they'll give you the full blueprint on getting started as well. All you need to do is just sit down, put some focus time into it, maybe an hour a day. And you might even discover that over the course of a week, you've already now mastered how to run your own paid ads and directing traffic to your store. So once you run into paid ads, you do your organic content, by now you should be seeing some sales. If you don't see some sales, go back into step one, find a new product, find 10 new products and see which ones you can test out. Look, there's a lot of testing involved. You're not gonna score big that first time. It may take you 50 products, but the way that you're gonna find success where other people give up and fail is the fact that you're gonna keep trying, you're gonna keep doing it, knowing that there is hope that you can break out of whatever life you're living in now. That's the exact feel that I lived because when I first started, I ran all these different ads. I've tried different like Instagram story campaigns because that back then Instagram was chronological. That was the thing to do. I didn't see my first sales, but I knew that if I kept doing it, I could improve. So I remember after building a store, building multiple stores, I would get a page visitor. I was like, whoa, people are landing and clicking on a link that I put out there. Then I saw a hundred page visitors. Then I saw one add to cart. Then I saw one add to cart turn into a sale. And then that one sale turned into 10 sales. That 10 sales turned into a hundred sales and a thousand sales. A lot of people are so skeptical that this stuff works, but it's just a system. You follow the system, you take your emotions out of it and you optimize. That is step number six. You optimize your funnel, you optimize your products, you optimize your upsells, your cross sells, your landing page, your creatives, your other product designs, your product videos, and you test. Now, once you're doing that, you're making a hundred or thousand dollars a day in profit. The next thing you want to do is continue to test. This actually goes back into number one of this whole entire process where you're finding new products, you're retesting them. After you find success with finding multiple winning products, you can then decide, okay, do I want to double down on this, build an actual brand from it, or do I want to sell it on an exchange where someone else could pay me a flat rate? And you know, you just enjoy that money for a little bit too. Personally for me, I decided to go the private label into the wholesale route. I think that's a great route too, because you can always sell your business at any time. So by now you have the beginning plan, you have the step-by-step -step formula, you also have the exit strategy on getting started today. What I didn't cover though were the those two actionable tips to give you even more clarity on finding success. So here's what they are. First of all, don't be afraid of losing money at first. You must lose money and test. If you still can't make a sale, usually one of three things are wrong. You either don't have a good enough product, your offer is not targeting the right audience, or your creative suck. I'd write note of that. It's usually one of those three. To expand on product research validation, when it comes to good product research, it's simple. Just ask yourself this. Is my product genuinely solving a problem? Is it priced reasonably? And how is my product landing page compared to some of the other competitors in the space. When it comes to the right offer, but the wrong targeting, imagine the scenario. Say you have the world's best hot dog. It's delicious. It's juicy. But if you're at an animal rights vegan protest trying to sell your best hot dogs there, you're not going to get a sale. Now, say you have the best hot dogs in the world, but you're at the right place. You're at a baseball game and they happen to run out of food there. You're going to be selling out. The third thing is a lot of people actually have some pretty bad creatives and they think it's good. In this modern day of age, what really works well is UGC content and you need quality content that hooks your viewer, that's powerful, and you'd want to get an ad that catches fire easily. And the way I like to say, it, it just stays lit. A poor ad is gonna be like a poor fire that just continues to die out and that you keep throwing money to bring it to life, but it was never a good, strong fire to start with. Once you optimize that end, you get good ads, you have a good website, all you have to do then is to just keep your customers happy. And if you have a good product, that comes very easily. That is literally the formula. Those are all the things that can take you from zero to multiple eight figures as any new entrepreneur in the space. So by the way, if you found any value in today's video, do me a favor, drop a like down below, subscribe. I'd love for you guys to join the Jung Dynasty. And I'd love for you guys to also check out some of the tools I mentioned down below. I've been getting a ton of requests on mentorships, coaches, or even courses as well, because I know these YouTube videos can't really go too in depth on a lot of the things that I mentioned. So if you guys are looking for more actionable step-by-step -step things where I walk you through the entire process, I'm currently in the development phase of building the best dropshipping course to exist, utilizing all the new things, AI, UGC content, TikTok ads, and the latest systems in helping you go from a zero 
to a thousand dollars in revenue in sales with my program. Now I've never done something like this and this is going to be our minimum viable product. Okay. I got to test it a little bit, but I am going to give you an early bird discount for joining the beta and the prototype. If you guys are interested in getting the pre-launch to this course, the link for that will also be down below in the description. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. If you want to get a more behind the scenes, look at my life and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.